Hecklers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you Actually, T-Plus is perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cox... Shh, shh, Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Oh, no, he's hot! A dumb word for... Oh, yeah, I can see why you guys like him. Jesus. And Max... A, a teacher had doesn't have the right to fucking course, look that good. As you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. She's supposed to look ugly and old. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital Like that fucking Squidward scene. As long as it's been around. <laughs> Calm down, Kevin. Teacher isn't going to be that hot like they said. Oh my god, he's hot. You clearly want to join the conversation. Can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Sorry, I've been paying attention. I did know. <coughs> Fucking coughing. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the You're gonna cough, zone. cough with the fucking mouth. The first American daguerreotype or hand in your mouth or whatever. Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Or even online. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! What a bitch. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. It's okay, I can just step on you. Pull that pose. Pull her so scalp. Original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. No. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. No. Yeah. Okay, let's see if this works. Awesome. Yeah. What the hell? 
Oh my dude, you, you, you just got Look at my chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Samuel's point. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Plot twist, he's actually in on it. No way! Yo! <laughs> Frank, baby! <laughs> sorry. No, Samuel, Wait, sorry. Good for hair. No. sorry. Get the hell away from me, oh, yeah, Dino. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. An awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. No. No. <laughs> that was so kind. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Sounds like it would be Mason. <laughs> you're, not, yeah, never, <laughs> you're not even going to tell me, are you? You had to mess up by filming. <laughs> oh, oh. It's like, there's there's no right answer here. Like, all of these are wrong. I got two different answers now. <laughs> Is it Watson? Okay, let's go with Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just I only know I because my chat told me to. I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell like a year or a week i did browse through all the titles drama queen ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust no fucking way will i watch that my mind is twisted enough i laughed my ass off so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. <laughs> Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of this guy at college who likes me and would always have to hug me or touch me like me. <laughs> that's, you seem that's a bit excessive. Like fucking talk about invading space. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max. Avoid it at all costs. I had this incredible yeah. bizarro experience. Sounds like Mr. a Jefferson's good idea. Today. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescott's own okay, this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. You play this game, Haley? I thought you said you didn't. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. 
Not my parents, not the principal, or that whore Thank in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? Shrek! Fiona! Fiona! Mom! Harold! Dante! No way. You again. Oh. Sam! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Thanks for shutting the door for me, pal. You haven't? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Five minutes later. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Uh. Is it? Oh, okay. It's hidden. Why is it hidden? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what you're still. You're a fucking idiot! This needs to stop! Now! This, this is, is not okay! This needs to stop now! This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. <laughs>